Hello, welcome to this tutorial in Mixcraft 8 Pro Studio and Behringer XR18. Today I'm going to show you how to connect this unit here, the XR18, to Mixcraft. So first what you're going to need to do is you could do a search for the XR18 SIO driver and scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll find the driver here. Download that, unzip it into a folder, and install it. And then you'll need the uh, XR Edit app, and that's found here. It's version 1.5. Um, if you don't see that, there's a. Um, you'll see this link. They'll show the Android one. Then you have to click it here to be able to find it. So once you get that installed and get the um, XR app installed, there's a couple of things you need to do. Um, plug your USB into the computer and also into the XR, and then go here to the setup cog on the toolbar and change it to the X18 ASIO driver. And on the drop down here, change this to out 17 and 18, and that will give you your main outputs. Um, for the default recording device, you can have it on one and two, that's fine. And after that's done, um, well, it's probably going to default here to 48, it's only going to have that for the preferred settings. After that's done, then you can go in here and you will see. Um, it have stereo one and two, but the there's no way to set the mono, you know, one and two. Um, so you either select one or two here, and it's the same thing as on the um, XR18. So when you select one of those, um, you know, it's going to be corresponding one, two, three, four, five. If you're running stereo, if you're going to plug something in here that's stereo, like a keyboard or a guitar amp or something like that that runs stereo, you can put it in the 1 and 2 right here, and then uh, just select the stereo output, and then you'll be recording two channels at once. Now the other thing is if you have something in 1, 2, or any one of these channels, and you want to make a another track, um, set audio track and dearm this one and if your guitar or something's plugged in on number one and then make another track just like you would do with any other audio interface now the part that I wanted to show you was to um, set up the XR18 uh, to output on um, 17 and 18 so I'm just going to pause this real quick Okay, so I'm connecting to the XR18. I just launched this amp here, or launched the app, sorry, and it's on IP address uh, 18. So I'm going to click connect, and then it's going to ask me if I want to sync from the mixer to the PC or from the PC to the mixer. So if you've already made a scene like this, it's stored into the XR18. So if you're on another computer or you're tablet or something you can pull the mixer settings down to your tablet um, so that makes that's really useful uh, if you're you know you're editing getting a show ready and you're editing on your laptop or your tablet and it's already been set up and it's um, stored on the XR18 and then you get on a PC and you want to download that you can do it right here so um, I want to go from mixer to PC because I've been working on this a little bit. And here's just a, a regular setup for a band. And let me get this out of the way. So what you want to do, um, you'll probably see all the channels just uh, channel, you know, one, two. There won't be anything labeled like this when you first start it up. So uh, go into um, the input output and then on the main out you change that to 17 and 18 here so now Mixcraft is going to be using 
just like we set it here 17 and 18 and that's all you have to do and then the monitoring part uh, works the same if you click you know your monitoring button here and then you can record tracks um, then that's basically uh, how you would use the uh, XR18 as a USB interface in Mixcraft. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I'll try to leave the link to the drivers for the XR18 and the app so that you can get that and get it put on your computer. So have a great day and I'll talk to you later. God bless. Bye bye.